Today marks 51 years since one of the darkest days in the civil rights movement, really in the country. An assassin's bullet killed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on this day in 1968. CBS 46's Haley Mason shows us how Atlanta is honoring this civil rights leader. Haley. Good afternoon, you all. We are live outside of the historic Ebenezer Baptist Church where this wreath was just hung on the side of this building commemorating the death of Dr. Martin Luther King 51 years ago today at 6.01 p.m. They just hung the wreath about six minutes ago as people are filing out of the official remembrance ceremony held by the National Park Service inside the sanctuary. We saw people from Injustices. all over the world on those pews with candles and programs ready to share in the legacy of Dr. King. About an earlier before, the King family held a wreath laying service at his tomb at the King Center. His only surviving sibling, uh, Christine King Ferris, as well as Dr. Bernice King, Dr. King's daughter, they spoke at that program. Dr. King told me that she hopes the spirit of her father's message that it's renewed, not just in correcting, but uplifting as well. The one thing that we have to be careful of is that we don't seek to do the work without understanding the spirit with which he did it in because that seems to be missing the most. Um, Daddy was able to, to call people up in truth. Um, we kind of denigrate people because they denigrate us and that's not the way he taught us. And this wreath, the white wreath there on the side of Ebenezer will remain here until April 9th, which was the day of Dr. King's funeral. We spoke with people who came as far as South Africa to attend today's events. We'll have more from them coming up tonight at 9 and 11 p.m. Reporting live outside of Ebenezer, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.